Hi folks, welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be continuing our Anatomy of Emotion series by exploring the emotional anatomy of anger. So if you haven't listened to the first episode in the series called The Anatomy of Joy, you should check that out first as we'll be building from that episode. So just a quick bit about the general ways in which anger manifests itself physically. This is one of the more physically obvious emotions so I think it's a good one to explore early in this series. And the common areas that anger will tend to manifest in are the jaw, the head, the hands, and the forearms. So anywhere where you're prone to tense up in frustration. However, as I touched on before, this can be extremely individual. And where you feel or where you store anger could be anywhere in the body. It could be a body part that was injured or hurt closely related to your experience of anger. So perhaps the injury itself caused you a lot of anger or the injury was the result of an event or accident that caused you to feel significant anger. And again, these are just suggestions. Uh, as another example, in traditional Chinese medicine, anger is related to the liver. So perhaps it's something you'll feel on your lower ribs, on your right side. But in any case, you'll feel what comes as we settle into the meditation. I just want to give you a bit of a primer for what to expect. So take a few moments to find a comfortable position, either seated or lying down. If it's comfortable and possible, I'd recommend lying down. Now, as you settle into this position, I want you to close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Slowly inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. As you continue to breathe, I want you to focus on elongating your breath. So if your inhalation takes three seconds, try to slow it down so that it takes four or more seconds. However long it takes to inhale and exhale, try to elongate that cycle. You're going to find that the more you slow down and control your breathing, the more your body will relax. Now, I want you to focus on making the inhalation and exhalation as smooth as possible. Inhale evenly and slowly, then exhale evenly and slowly. You're going to find that the longer you breathe slowly and smoothly, the more comfortable you will feel. You'll feel a comforting warmth wash over your body as your nervous system shifts into a state of healing. Continue to breathe continue to let go and continue to relax. Now that you've slowed your breathing, I want you to shift your focus to your body. Scan for any unnecessary tension. See if you can let go and simply release into the support of the ground. Know that your bones and your body are supported and that your muscles and your tissues can fully relax. Give yourself permission to relax. As you continue to breathe and to feel supported, I want you to draw your attention to a part of your body that feels great. Somewhere that feels strong and resilient. Perhaps it feels light and loose. Whatever it is that you feel, simply observe it. Begin to tune into the rhythm of that part of the body. Feel the life of those tissues. Feel the pulse. Feel the blood flowing through the area. Feel the bones and the joints 
floating in the soft tissue. Notice their gentle oscillation and their rhythm as they are influenced by the motion of their surroundings. Continue to breathe and simply observe these sensations. If you're beginning to struggle and strain to notice these subtle sensations, begin to ease off. Let the sensations come to you. Don't overthink it, just feel. If you can't feel much yet, don't worry. The more you follow these meditations and devote time to your interoceptive practice, the more sensitive and perceptive you will be of these subtle shifts. Now I'd like you to draw your attention to a part of your body that feels bad. Perhaps the same part that you focused on in the last meditation. Or perhaps a different part, if your attention is drawn elsewhere. Think of a part that feels sore or tense or that you lack confidence in. Simply shift your focus there as if you're shining a flashlight on it. Again, continue to breathe slowly and evenly and just observe. Don't pass any judgment, just notice this part of the body. Notice its rhythm and see if you can feel the pulse. Perhaps it's elevated and feels agitated. Perhaps it feels lifeless and starved of oxygen. Perhaps it's rigid and sluggish. Simply notice whatever you feel. Notice the contrast between this part of the body and the last part you were focused on. By doing this, you're giving your brain and nervous system an opportunity to learn and to solidify their sensory maps. You're developing a more accurate awareness of yourself. Continue to breathe for a few moments and to observe those sensations. Now I want you to bring an angry memory to your mind. Be sure to bring something that you can tolerate to mind, something that you can sit with, something that elicits anger, preferably related to your pain, but that you can continue to breathe through comfortably. Find that memory or experience that makes you clench your jaw and clench your fists. Begin to bring that image or that memory to life. Don't just think about it, but feel it. Feel that anger build and spread over your body. Bring it to life for all of your senses. See it, smell, hear, taste and touch it. Now scan your body. Where does this emotion live inside you? Do you feel it somewhere quite specific? Or do you feel it in your mind only? Or can you feel it in other parts? Do you feel it somewhere unexpected? Perhaps it's not a feeling of clenching or tension, but some sort of shift or surge of energy somewhere in your body. Just notice what comes up. Now I'd like you to observe the area of your liver on the right side of your belly, just below the ribs. You can place your palm lightly on the skin of this area. Don't apply much pressure, simply make a light contact with the skin. This is called therapy localization and it's a way of increasing your brain's awareness of an area. You can visualize the liver under your hand and under the ribs. See it in your mind's eye and observe the rhythm 
of the area. Observe the sensations. If you feel nothing around your liver, but are drawn to another part of your body, focus your attention there. And if you can, make a light contact with your palm on this new area and continue to observe. There are no wrong feelings and there is no right place to feel it. Just observe what you feel. Continue to breathe through your nose. Notice any shifts in your breathing rate. Allow these to continue, but maintain nasal breathing if possible. Remind yourself, if necessary, to let go into the support of the ground, to let your bones feel completely supported and at ease. For a few more moments, take a mental and physical note of the sensations of anger. Get a good sense of what anger feels like in your body. If you've drifted off to other things, bring that angry memory or that image back to life. Give it a chance to leave its imprint on your body and in your mind. And breathe. As we begin to wind down, I want you to shift your focus back to the body part that felt bad. The same place you focused on earlier. And simply observe it. Notice what's changed. Does it feel worse? The same? Perhaps it feels better? Perhaps it just feels different. Not better, not worse, just different. There are no wrong answers. Continue to breathe and observe the sensations for a few more moments. Finally, I want you to shift your focus back to a memory of joy, perhaps the same memory that you used in the last meditation. Bring to life that joyous memory or image. Feel it and experience it with all of your senses and let it wash over you. Visualize this joyous sensation washing off the residual anger and tension you feel. Bring your breathing back into control. Breathe slowly and smoothly. Bask in that feeling of joy as you slow down your breathing. Take a few more moments to let go of any residual tension or anger. Notice how you can control your internal state by shifting your focus. Remind yourself that you are where your attention is. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And you can open your eyes again. As I mentioned in the first episode of this series, our aim with these meditations is to deepen your awareness of yourself and to hone your interoceptive skills. So I'd also encourage you to take five to 10 minutes every day to sit with yourself, sit with your thoughts, and to sit within your body. Observe how dynamic it is and how your body and your mind are deeply intertwined. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Physical Education Podcast. If you're the kind of person who likes to help others, then share this with someone in need. If you found value in the information here, they will too. So please share this in whatever way you can. If you have any questions, you can email me directly at pa at thebackpaincoach.net. I may even use your question for a future podcast episode. If you'd like more information to help you overcome pain, be sure to follow The Back Pain Coach on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and to join my newsletter. The major turning points in my own recovery have come from changes in perception and through learning more about myself. I believe that we can help others by sharing information that expands their minds. 
finally, I'd greatly appreciate if you could leave a positive review on iTunes or Stitcher so that others may find this information and you can play a positive role in their healing journey. Thanks again for listening.